Hello and welcome to episode 17 of our Timberborn Update 5 Iron Teeth Mega Build Challenge here in cycle 25, day 4. Last time, we did a whole lot of uh, construction with this little, I guess we can call it a ring road, going all the way uh, around the second level. They haven't quite finished it yet. There's still about half of it left to go, maybe a little bit more than half. So they'll be getting to that today, as well as some other stuff that we've got to take care of. Uh, but real quick, right off the bat as we get started here, I did notice this floodgate is set to 2, which is why this is not uh, completely filled. So we will set that back down. That should fill up naturally. And one of the things that you guys suggested in the comments of the last video was to uh, revisit this. This whole thing we spent a whole lot of time setting up. And I even got a comment asking why I wasn't using the fabulous uh, Power Shaft Bridges and Tunnels mod by our dear friend Battery Smooth. So I've gone ahead and I've downloaded it once again. We have Shaft Bridges, we have Shaft Tunnels, and I have uh, gone ahead and unlocked the 10 span Power Shaft Bridge just to show you what that would look like. Plus we have tons of science, it's not really that big of a deal. Uh, so I have to put it, I guess, up here so I can show you. But that is what that looks like. We'd have that go all the way across. But let's not forget, we also have tunnels. And I was curious as to whether or not this would work. But I'm pretty sure I can just do this. And I, it doesn't have to be directly on the ground. It can have a gap in between. And it's just going to have them go completely underground. So I thought, what, what if? What if? We just got rid of this entire thing. I know we spent a whole lot of time building it, but if we just replace that with these tunnels, we could have a tunnel here, and then we could also also do the little baby tunnel, and we could put that right here, so we can still have the path go down to uh, to the uh, little uh, outside here. I think that would be fun. It would be a whole lot of a uh, whole lot of fun to get into. So uh, to that end, let's uh, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and do that. Have a little bit of fun doing some nonsense here, because that's what it's all about. Uh, get Make sure we get these power shafts out of the way before we get rid of the bridge, so they can actually take care of that. But I will mark these for collection. And then, of course, we'll get rid of the bridge and replace that with our tunnels. I think that's going to look awesome. Is it a little bit exploity of the game? Yeah, but it's going to look cool, so that's fine. Other things you guys suggested, I guess we can go into turbo mode now. Um, unfortunately, we have our contaminated beavers. Uh, we have to take care of that expeditiously. So um, we don't really have a great system in place to take care of them. Uh, but we do want to make sure that we put in a couple of these decontamination pods. I will, of course, put in uh, three of them down here just next to uh, all this. There's not really any good mechanism to do that up here. Uh, there's no, uh, uh, what's the word? Um, extract, I think. That's supposed to have water in it. Uh, but we can can put this in here. At least to give them some sort of reprieve. Uh, we have uh, these guys. Um, they are very contaminated. And they're uh, probably not going to make it. But we can try to give them a little bit of comfort. Oh, this one's only 17. Uh-oh. Okay, well, uh, our, our friend William here at age 62 probably is not long for this world. Anyway, in beaver years, so I went the wrong way again. Um, that That's just the way it is. Not much we could do about it because we did not think uh, that was even possible, but I guess it happened. I'm still not sure why or how, but that's just the way it went, and that's what happened. So it is what it is. These have gears. Why do we not have gear storage? Oh well, we're going to use gears. I can assure you we're going to use gears because we use them to build these things. So uh, our one long tunnel, I'm going to put right here. That's going to give us a nice uh, nice way to get around. But you know what? I probably should uh, get rid of this bridge first. So let's uh, let them take care of that. We'll start from the other side because that's going to give them a chance to actually get stuff done. So might as well. Wow, they just all came with a quickness to get that. Uh, let's place that down. It is. It, it feels so cheaty that this works, but um, remember, this does go down into the earth, and there's no rule that says it couldn't just go way far down and then go around and then come back up. So I think that is the assumption we are going to choose to operate on. Look at all these beavers just streaming in here to place items in, well, in place. <laughs> so that's going to be cool. Uh, the one longs are going to go right like this. And that's going to work out so well. I am so glad you guys reminded me about this fantastic mod. And we'll uh, 
and make sure to make good use of that. But that's going to be really convenient. I was going to start to be kind of worried about getting power uh, back across here. I was going to try to figure out a way to do it. But I'm thinking it's going to be pretty easy once we actually have this set up uh, the way that we want it to be. I can have just come right up here probably and so on and so forth. We've got lots and lots to get done. And hopefully we can uh, manage to do it sooner rather than later. We'll just have to see exactly what we can get ourselves into. But our, our friends here are uh, decontaminating in the decontamination pods. Whether or not they actually get fully decontaminated, I guess we'll see. But there is quite a bit of uh, decontamination <laughs> for those guys to do. Well, this is done. So um, I guess we can just leave those there. That's probably fine. Uh, get our one long tunnels. Place that here and here, and that should connect to both of these, and that looks a whole lot better, doesn't it? And, and, the benefit is, since this is uh, going to be able to have stuff on top of it, we can build some of this stuff. Let you know how this goes. Takes time to get stuff done, we'll let them have time to do it, and then... Uh, we will continue on with what else we have to take care of. Another thing we really need to do is we really need to get some more beavers uh, up here. We've got plenty of uh, plenty of these pods already, but uh, the beavers aren't really living long enough for this to be an appropriate number of pods, which just blows my mind. You know, we, we got like, I don't even, I don't know, 20 of these things. But our average well-being is only 28, I believe, if we take a look at a beaver here. Uh, the life expectancy goes up at 27 and it doesn't go up again until 37. So it's going to be a while before we actually have that much more of an increase based on our well-being. And the easiest way for us to get that up is going to be, I believe, to get everybody more access to fun stuff, which probably, probably is not going to be that effective until we have bots to take away jobs or specifically the jobs that are far away, uh, meaning these on the outer rings. And I think we're we're not quite there yet on uh, getting bots up and running. Could still be a couple more episodes, or we could just do it now, but I don't really think that's going to be the most prudent expenditure of our resources. So now we have 180,000 HPH stored up, and now we can have uh, access through here if we so choose uh, to put in some more side platforms just so this is uh, passable. So since we're already here, we might as well just go ahead and do it. Just put those in nice and easy. And that gives the beavers another avenue to walk around here. Or if we need to expand this with some additional dam pieces to alleviate flow issues, uh, then that's going to be the way it goes. I did get a couple comments asking, hey, why didn't you make the outer ring two by one platforms instead of one by one? Because that's going to allow you to have a path and rails side by side. I wish I would have thought of that before. Um, obviously, there's no way you guys would have known to tell me that, so that's fine. But now that half of this is built, I really, really want to go back and make these two by ones. But it would be so wasteful. It would be so wasteful of your time. And, well, I guess my time and then your time by proxy. They haven't built all of it. They've built about half. But if I stopped to take this out, just replace it with a two by ones, I'd have to go back and do the other ones anyway. So that would be kind of uh, kind of defeatist, I think. But let's also not forget, we do have paths around the inside. So when these become trains, uh, it's really not going to be that big of a deal, I don't think. Uh, we're just going to have to take our time to make sure everything's taken care of. So while we're here, another thing you guys meant, uh, mentioned was that not all of the floodgates on this second tier are set correctly. Some of them are set to 0.5 and not 0. So we're just going to go around and check all of them. So I know there's at least a couple. This one uh, is not finished yet either, but that is set correctly. Those are set correctly. Hold on. Yep, those are set correctly. I thought I saw something. Those are set correctly. That one, and click, please, please, thank you, set correctly. Uh, this one, also set correctly. Are we all the way back around yet? Yeah, so I am, um, I haven't found the one that says this, unless you guys were talking about 
these guys, but these are not supposed to be set. Uh, they're just 1.5 all the time. So I'm not sure... Uh, not sure what you got going on. If uh, I'm just dense and I didn't notice what else you were talking about, but uh, I just checked all those and they're all right. So that's kind of strange. These guys are set to 1.5. They're supposed to be set to 1.5. So that's that's okay. Um, so sorry, those of you uh, who left that comment, uh, I found no evidence of that being the case. I might have just looked at the wrong thing or you might have been talking about something else. Uh, but please uh, do give me a little bit more clarification if uh, you think that's still an issue. If not, I guess we can just go ahead and move on. So that being said, we have all this space over here uh, to plant some additional stuff. And we are attempting to uh, once again get all of these uh, mangrove fruits put all the way around the outside here. We just have to remember exactly where all of this is going so we will uh, do our best to take care of that we of course have to have stairs in the correct spot if my computer can keep up there we go mm, yes i love it when i get random random little fps that's actually kind of scary uh let me let me actually check and see if my graphics card's melting hmm well, I, I don't hear the fan, which is kind of concerning, but uh, I guess we'll find out. This would be a bad time for me to have to buy a new graphics card. That would uh, almost certainly guarantee we don't have videos for a long time. You, 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 okay, I'm, I, I, gotta ch I gotta check after burning. Give me one second. All right, so... For whatever reason, the fan just wasn't running, but it is operating and it's at a good temperature. So I don't know, don't know, don't know what's going on with that. So I just locked the fan at a, uh, I don't know, seventy percent, and it seems to be doing okay now. So hopefully, hopefully, that's the last time we have to mess with that uh, for the time being. Uh, other things we want to make sure we take care of before we get the rest of this uh, locked and loaded. It looks like just about all of this uh, that we can control, at least is progressing nicely. We obviously have some of these uh, trees still to get cut down. So we'll see what happens with that and we'll move on as necessary once we get all of this area cleared. We, we just have to have places to put the wood. And I guess we're just gonna have to start, uh, gonna have to start having places for it to go. I don't really know uh, any other way to say it. We just have a whole lot of wood that we need to get cut down and uh, that's pretty much uh, what we're working with. I don't want to shut these farms down because that would disrupt uh, the planting and uh, harvesting cycles for those. So I think what we're going to need to do is just build some more wood storage. Uh, we have the way this is set up. There's no reason to keep these channels uh, uncovered because we're not going to be running power up here. And if we did want to have power, we could just bring it up from the lower tiers eventually. So I think what we're going to do is we'll just take our platforms here if I can get the correct ones and we'll just pave over this and put in a whole bunch of industrial piles since this is all going to be tree farm stuff as well look at these guys just come out of the woodwork like rats I guess beavers are rodents of some type but anyway I digress uh, we're going to get this all uh, figured out here in terms of uh access we'll put a ladder there that should be fine and then we'll put another ladder over here as well i just have to click on this and not a beaver and that'll give us a second level i will put enough for a third level and then we will move on from there connect this up nicely and that should be okay i'm not going to put another ladder here because this is the way most of them are going to be coming in uh, but that should be fine we'll just build a couple of these super enormous uh, wood storage areas, and we'll call it a day. There we go. And we'll leave uh, we'll leave room to build some additional stories here, but they got to be able to get in here and uh, actually have stuff set up to uh, hold wood. So I guess we come in from the side and make these hold the wood. We should have plenty of wood storage just with these uh, two levels here. If we do this in a couple other spots, it should be okay. 
obviously the goal being to clear out all of the wood from this uh, middle tier and then uh, start moving some of the other stuff down here as well. There's just a little bit of metal left here, which means once that's gone, all of this can go away as well. And uh, somebody had a good idea of having this corner section be for planting the pine trees to get our resin from. Now, for reference, this is what we're currently getting our resin from. We really don't need that big of a pine farm. So I was thinking, uh, got to figure out where we would have to put another one of these uh, reservoirs. I'm kind of tempted to just... Uh, Put one kind of in the middle here and then see how far out that irrigates. Uh, if we can keep water in here during droughts, that's obviously going to help quite a bit. Uh, but if we did that, we could just have pine trees in the very corner and have more oaks. Or if we wanted to plant, I mean, literally all we have is oaks. Oaks and pines, birches are fundamentally useless. And then we've got mangroves. So if we could think of something else to do here, I don't know. If you have any ideas, drop them down below. We're really not going to need to have so many trees planted, but uh, I do want to take advantage of the space. So if this is done by the time that this episode is over, we will maybe start uh, doing that. But right now we've got, man, they're filling that up fast with a quickness. We just added, oh, I don't know. Math is hard. A lot, <laughs> a lot of log storage right here. Doesn't seem like it's uh, really that big of a deal uh, but we can can do a similar thing over here we just have to get this wood out of the way um, I suppose we could just give them a little bit of a helping hand in getting this area started as well so that nope nope don't right click left click where you want something to go that's step one of playing the game We'll do that, and then we'll just have this put in as well. Follow along behind it, and we'll see how that goes. But if we want to put a third level, we can do it, and it's already prepped and uh, ready to go for it. I really don't see any situation in which we're going to have to have, genuinely need to have twenty or 30,000 log storage. It might be kind of neat, but I think that might end up causing more lag than it's worth, uh, just having so many items harvest it on the map. We might want to just uh, try to find something else to do with those. But giving them more storage in this area is going to help uh, get rid of some of this stuff. And of course, we're going to have to get metal uh, harvested here as well, which is probably going to mean having some variation of this over somewhere uh, as we continue to move stuff around. But that is what's happening there. Uh, I promised the last episode that we were going to get rid of these trees up here. And honestly, we have so much wood, I I just don't want to deal with it anymore. I'm just going to kill off these uh, little trees that are in the process of growing, and we can finally make this a farm area, like we've promised for so very long. Get the rest of those trees done. So, uh, of course, we do have to come back in and put land here. I mean, we don't have to, but we probably should just to do something with all of our dirt. And then what we're going to do is we're going to kind of un... I don't know what the right word is for this. We're going to unstupefy this area, I guess. Uh, because we have kohlrabis here. We've got cassava here, here, here. We've got this uh, canola here. We've got eggplants. We've got soybeans. And we've got, we've got a mess is what we've got. So we're going to kind of specialize areas. This is a little closer to all of our processing over here. So I'm thinking... I'm thinking we want to move our eggplant over into one of these quadrants here so it's closer to that uh, which would allow us to reclaim this for something else and then uh, so on and so forth I think I think that's going to be the smart thing to do uh, we can kind of make this a little bit more streamlined we have kohlrabis here uh, we did have some kohlrabi planted over here but honestly I don't think I want to mess with growing kohlrabi uh, anymore in this section of the map. We'll just let them harvest that and move on because this whole thing can and should be uh, just regular farms. One of the most important things that we have to do still to make that possible is to get these pumps moved in over here in the corner. And one of the things that was stopping us from doing that 
was not having uh, this dug out all the way. Not that it really matters, but that's just where we were. So I think just for the sake of, you know, actually getting something done, uh, we will go ahead and just build more dirt storage so they can mine more dirt and get rid of that and we'll all be a-okay. And then we have to put in some more of these uh, side platforms. But what we can also do is we can start blowing up underneath, which it does let us do. Uh, thought come up with the comments. People were wondering why I hadn't blown it up before I put the platforms in. Well, you can blow up under these side platforms because there's nothing touching the ground. So that's okay. That was never going to be an issue. We just want to make sure this goes all the way down. And then uh, that's going to give us plenty of storage for water to accumulate so we can just keep on pumping and not worry about it. Because as you can see, our water situation isn't dire, but it's definitely not where it should be. We should be storing a lot more. And once we have that kind of concentrated in the corners, instead of just spread out over here, I think that's going to go uh, a lot more favorably for us. So uh, these guys now have no need to be lumberjack flags anymore. So bye bye. Yes, I know I got rid of the gatherer flags, but but we're going to move them back to be right here. And that takes care of that. Lumberjack gone, Forester gone, Lumberjack flag gone. This has to stay, but the Tooth Grindstone uh, does not have to be here. We can replace this with a farmhouse, right like so. And then we have some space on the backside to just do whatever we please with. And that being said, let's take our Demolish Buildings tool, get rid of this path, um, get rid of this path. And once we move these out of the way, we'll be able to take care of the rest of that stuff. But we will start planting. Um, I have this kind of set up differently. And by kind of, I mean completely set up differently. It really shouldn't matter uh, based on how we have this set up. But I think we're just going to have to make some choices about where we want to grow different things. I have a farmhouse here, 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 and here, and here. So there's really no rhyme or reason to how I have this uh, distributed. So I'm assuming, you know what happens when you assume? Um, it probably makes the most sense to have farmhouse here and here. I'll flip the uh, doorway just because we can. Up in this quadrant to handle this stuff. Assuming the stuff grows fast enough, but we're not going to need to have like five different farmhouses. We just have this set up uh, this way because we do. But I'm going to go ahead. Uh, this medium tank um, really doesn't need to be here if these pumps aren't here, but they currently are. So we're not going to get rid of it just yet. Uh, we're going to plant the eggplants here. I just want to see if there's any way, any way I can start building these now instead of waiting something tells me that's not going to be the case. We'll just have to keep going and uh, letting them do what they want to do. Because I know they're still building this giant ring road thing. Uh, so let's actually... Uh, oh, that's not going to work, is it? I've got to select all of these things. Yeah, this doesn't need to be the priority for construction right now. Just give them a chance. Uh, drought approaching, which is not a bad tide, which is a good thing. We still have our three contaminated beavers, so I guess they haven't gotten uh, through their treatment program yet, but they also haven't died, which is, I guess, cause for celebration. And we'll just go all the way around here. Should help us out considerably in uh, getting other projects accomplished, just so that is never the top priority. Uh, this is fantastic, and I wish I would have done this last time, but that's so cool uh, to have that in place. Very, very cool. All right. Um, what I was doing, I was coming over here to put in explosives. They're just about done. Yeah, now I can actually see. There we go. Just keep on going down. Actually, I can check. Oh, no, I can't because there's a thing in the way. Uh, but we have quite a way to go in terms of a blasting. And that was one of the reasons why I hadn't done this because I didn't want to waste our dynamite. But uh, 
Currently, this is the only blasting we really, I guess, need to start doing. Of course, we're going to have other stuff in due time. Uh, but something somebody suggested in the comments I really would like to start doing is uh, building our coffer dams around these underground ruins. We just have to be able to get to them, which is uh, part of the challenge presently. It's probably not the best idea to have that start right now, but eventually we will have to put our earthen dams around this so the water can either get pumped out or it can evaporate uh, before we have the rest of this stuff taken care of. So I guess we will see what happens when that comes up as something we need to be doing. But right now, uh, metal-wise, we don't have a ton, but you know, it definitely could be worse. <laughs> we're, we're not really going through metal that quickly yet. We just need to maybe start thinking about uh, harvesting some of this stuff. So I will go ahead and set up uh, scavenger flags here and here to get them started on that process. We can, at the very least, uh, go ahead. I'll put that on this side and start collecting some more scrap metal, even if we're not going to use it immediately. So that's going to go there there or here yeah just to give them something to do we can move the other stuff later uh, but yeah that's going to be a fun thing for us to keep up with there's not uh, not a lot left over here less than 60 so uh, should be pretty quick uh, we are starting to see these scavenger flags and not all be able to go at once because only one beaver can work on one stack at a time so we will leave that be. Look, they've already pretty much filled up. Well, okay, well, not that close, but they're getting there on filling up the log storage. Uh, we'll, of course, continue doing stuff over here as they have the ability to get that done. But yeah, we are, uh, we are making progress. Just not quite as fast as we might like. The fun part is going to be getting, uh, getting all of this blown up because it still has got a, a lot of space down below. I don't see any more action happening down here, so maybe that's the bottom. I don't know. We'll see. Our dirt storage is not yet full, but that is making me think we might be there. Might actually be done. And we can go ahead and we can start building a couple more of these guys. Oh, I can't put it here because this is a damn piece. Can I use the... I oh, can't. Okay, we're going to end up doing that. Somebody suggested, hey, why don't you just use the middle pieces? I try to avoid those, and I think I said this in the comment reply. But I try to avoid these because it causes weird collision issues with placing buildings and paths. And yeah, it's kind of a pain in the butt. So uh, not going to be my favorite option of all time, but at some point we probably will uh, need to uh, make use of those. Just so uh, we're on the same page of why that hasn't happened yet. Now, can I get all the way in the corner here? Looks like I... Oh, hold on. There we go. I'm imagining that's going to be the very bottom... Oh, yeah. Actually, looking at that, that is the bottom of the map. And the three should... Uh, should get us there, hopefully. Maybe it's only two. I'm not entirely sure. It might actually be only two. But if it goes down to that level, then we'll know. Uh, know for sure that's the case. And then I can get rid of this guy. I just don't want to... Don't want to get rid of them until I absolutely have to, because that's going to make things just a little bit challenging. The really fun part is going to be figuring out how we're going to put our uh, our water pumps in the corner, because it's not going to be uh, not going to be the most aesthetically pleasing thing, because it is an odd side. It's nine side, uh, nine tiles on the long side, and the inside is going to be five on a side. So it's not really going to line up the best way. I think we might have to do. Uh, a little bit of a uh, weird math to try to figure this out. I know that's like a, a fatal danger zone for me is trying to do math, but we'll survive. We'll be all right. That can be the end of the world. These guys have nothing to plant, so please do not crash. Thank you. Um, I think we might as well just go ahead and get the eggplants going in here, even if it's not going to be the most... Uh, Perfect setup right now. I'm going to un eggplant over here. And then uh, I guess since this is already here, we might as well just make this the berry capital of the world. And just let these berry bushes continue to expand. 
and uh, have our farmhouses in the berry plot because that's probably just going to work out okay. Not my favorite thing ever, but uh, if we're going to have a whole bunch of beavers, and I would love to get to a thousand beavers on this, I don't know if it's going to happen, but if we're going to have a thousand, we're going to have to have a lot of berries. So I guess we'll just let this revert back to uh, berry nature, whatever you want to call it. All right, let's get these done. Are they all in place? Looks like they are. Uh, yeah, that's the bottom of the map. So, Dirt Excavator goes bye bye along with all of this power stuff. We're not going to need it over here. We can get rid of all of it. And I will use, since I have access to that, the Demolish Buildings feature. And that's gone, just like so. Drought started, and we only have 2,900... Uh, water. That's a little concerning. Especially considering how low. Oh, wow, that is... Um, that's quite low. That's not uh, not exactly what I was hoping to see. So that's going to take a while to fill during a... Uh, during a drought. So now, now we have to think about... Uh, about stuff. We might... might have to explore the... Uh, Mechanical fluid pumps. These do only raise a little bit at a time, but if I can get, if I can illustrate this, I don't know that I'm going to be able to with the way this is set up because I got these things everywhere. But these have only a certain, a certain height they'll allow you to build. I think it's uh, oh six. Yeah. So for us to get from here up to here it would require two of these. But it could be, could be an interesting uh, solution to get water back up here. Uh, I don't think it's going to require me to place this on the ground, so let's pause and try this here. Oh, no way. Seriously? It's going to let me do that? Oh, that's kind of broken. <laughs> oh, man. So, oh, see, I just don't know how this would work, though. It would almost make more sense to just put that on this side, and then... Oh. Wow, am I stupid or what? That was the solution this whole time. <laughs> Getting this filled up is just have the mechanical pumps constantly going. We can automate them during droughts. So I guess I did actually want... I did actually want these... Oh, man, these to go here. Well, um, we don't have to be... Uh, don't have to be working on that quite so hard just yet. Uh, but we do want to make sure we're keeping our options open. Yeah, let's get the rest of our side platforms in here, because now this has me thinking. That would be a very good reason why we couldn't have this go uh, all the way here. So if I were, well, for the sake of the uh, illustration here, if I were to do that... Nope, not the fluid dump. <laughs> If I were to put this guy here, I probably would want to dynamite down and then make it so that would be uh, acceptable. But that would just go straight down all the way here, and then we could just set it to turn off when it reaches a maximum level. We probably wouldn't need two of these, but I probably would want to put them in for uh, symmetry's sake. Man, now you got me thinking about this. This is actually kind of cool. That is an interesting interesting idea. So this would be three if I did one more down here. That guarantees that would pretty much always drain into it. And that, now you got my brain working, and that can be a very dangerous a very dangerous thing we've, we've come to learn. But if we did that, oh yeah baby, look at this. Alright, all right. Here's my, here's my vision. Here's my vision. Hear me out. We got that going in the corner here. Uh, flip that like so. Actually, actually, haha, is this going to be stupid or what? Nope, 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 nope. That is going to be stupid. That can't go that way because of the way this has to go in. That's going to be the same deal. So we might as well, might as well just flip that like so. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Rotate. So we'd have eight of those, just like that. Uh, in the corner, the, honestly, that eight should be fine. 
and we could put other structures in the corners. We could do monuments. We could do water tanks or something else, but I don't hate that. I think that actually is a pretty good, uh, a pretty good looking thing if we're able to also uh, make use of the, uh, the pumps here. That could be cool. That could actually work and be something that looks interesting. Could I fit more than eight if I really, really wanted to? Yes, I could, but it's not going to look as nice. And if we're going to have eight of these in every corner, we're going to end up with 32. And right now we have over here uh, 10, I think, is how this math works out to. Yeah, uh, well, 12 over here. And I think I think that's going to be okay. As long as we can actually get the water stored in here, that, that might be the, uh, the slightly more challenging bit. So before we actually build our pumps, uh, we are going to have to come in with our side platform middle pieces and uh, yeah, just put this all, all down. I've got to have, there we go, just get rid of this. Put all of this in at once because you know they're going to be able to do it. And that's going to work out just fine. Oh, this is so exciting. I, I hope we can get this done today and uh, actually have some sort of operating deal here. So theoretically, all I would have to do is have... Oh, now i got to put this back so I can see. Uh, I could just have the power come down this way and then go up here, go this way, and then come around the corner and then go this way and then go back. That's not a bad idea. Not a bad idea at all. Uh, let's get our thing. Yeah, they're not actually pumping, I don't think. Oh, okay, no, they are. It's actually reached all the way down, but it's going to run out really, really quick. Yeah, they're not going to be able to do anything. So uh, for the sake of our beaver's employment, let's, let's just pause these while we're here. And uh, come back to that at a later date. We just got to get all this blown up. Uh, that's there. That's looking good. Why do I see, uh, I guess that's just a reflection of the shadow. I thought it looked almost like I had irrigation barriers down there. I can't, can't recreate it, but that's what it looked like. Boy, that's satisfying. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. So you might be asking, why in the world are you blowing so much of this up when you don't have the capacity to actually pump that low? And the answer is, I don't have one. <laughs> so so we, we don't necessarily have to overanalyze everything, but um, you guys asked for me to detonate this to store a whole bunch of water. We can, if we, if we really felt like a, a good engineering challenge, we could attempt to put our, um, our big pumps, like we're gonna have to fill this up in the first place, uh, down in here to also pump water out. But I think it's more interesting to pump into this and try to keep this as full as possible. Because this is still going to be a pretty good amount of water, even just the six tiles deep that we can access. And the rest of it is just a, uh, I guess, a trophy of, hey, we did that. We have, we have water here. It's fine. No real reason otherwise to do, uh, to do that. So uh, I believe what we're going to want to do, we also need more more housing pretty soon, but that could be easily accomplished by just moving these guys out of the way and building down here. I think uh, I'm going to maybe do something just a little bit stupid, but um, I want to put in our vertical power shafts underneath this large barracks so we don't have to look at it and actually build on top of that like a piling. I think that would be smart. And uh, the way this is currently set up, uh, I have two and a half sides, I guess what I would consider built out for phase one. Uh, so if we uh, build this one the rest of the way, that's going to be another, what, 64 beavers on this side. And then this side would have another 128. That would get us just about to our 500. Should be actually a little bit more than that. I think. Yeah. Yeah should be like 5, 512 or whatever, I think is what the original math was. So I'm reluctant to keep building out from here is, what, is why I'm telling you this. But when we actually need to have a thousand beavers, we can uh, just build over that. But I think that would be, be a fun, interesting challenge for us to uh, 
make it that far. Not sh not so sure we're going to need to do that, but we will uh, we'll get there in due time. But I just need to make sure we can actually fill this. It's gonna be the uh, gonna be the fun thing to take care of. Let's check on. Okay, these guys are these guys are done. So for right now, I'm just gonna leave this as it is because there's no reason to get rid of it. We just need to have. Uh, these scrap metal sources set to supply, and then we have to have a storage over here set to accept, which uh, that seems to be doing just fine. But now we have no need to have the fermented soybeans over here, and this water, I guess we can keep it here so the beavers don't have to walk all the way, but this can be where we uh, start doing our, uh, our pine tree farm whenever we get to that point. So what I will do is I will go ahead and get this path all the way out to the corners. Uh, we can get rid of this. We don't need to have this here. And then uh, this is what this looks like when it's dry. So I think we might be incentivized to just kind of follow uh, on plane, if you will, of where this is. So all the way here, bring this out. How many spaces here? That is four in between. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, this is lagging so bad. Very terrifying. Please do not explode, computer. I need you. Uh, but what we're going to do is we will do our 5 by here. Just like we uh, just like we did before. We have a 3 by 3 There we go. And this, this inside corner gets blown up. That's kind of a cool pattern. Um gets blown up. I really hope this isn't actually some sort of offensive symbol I've accidentally created. You can't be too careful these days. Uh, but we'll put these dynamites here and then um, I guess I need to decide which way I want this to face. Not that it really matters I guess, but this will be the start of our pine tree farm. And we'll just have, I guess, right here can be where our pine trees are grown. Uh, we're not going to cut them down so we won't need to have a forester uh, so that'll be a tapper shack in the middle, most likely. And then we can figure out what else we're going to do from there. Because we have all the space right here. How many uh, How many wide is this? So this is 4x4. Four four. We actually could put uh, some other buildings in here that might actually make more sense. If we had our tapper shack, uh, we could have storage um, for the pine resin itself and other things. I don't know, just a, a thought for us to uh, continue working on here. Yep, we still got a ways to go. Probably don't need to uh, explode this all over the place, but uh, that's what we committed to doing, so that is what I am going to do. I don't want to be accused of doing something halfway. Uh, so we're going to get rid of this. Maybe. And by maybe, I mean definitely. I just had to sneeze. So this... We'll instead, we'll, we'll put it back. We'll put it back. Don't worry. This will instead um, get turned into, where's the exit? There. And that will go there. And then I will just put this right back immediately. Just like how we had it before. Rooftop, terrace, and all. And then, of course, we have our platform. Nope, I have to select that one again. And then on top of the platform goes the lantern like we had it set up before. And see, no harm, no foul. That should be all good to go just as soon as they finish building that. And then along this side, we'll do the same thing. And then, uh, you know the drill. Get this hooked up here. Get this hooked up here. And then I, I guess, I guess what we'll do is just have this set like so. Just have to have the power go up have this go up like so and then uh, we'll do mirror on both sides just for the sake of having it nicely mirrored and no other reason and then I guess this corner here uh, if we want to put power I guess I can go ahead and put a, uh, a plus intersection and just be done with it but that's going to allow us to transfer power here to a pump get things nice and filled up um, you guys said I never use these, so we're going to use them. Might not be the most, uh, 
smart, intelligent use of them? Did I just put these in backwards? Mm, what's what's up with uh no? Did it just glitch out and not uh and not do the straw? Okay. That was very strange. So hopefully hopefully you guys like that. I think it's an interesting uh interesting concept. Oh, I hadn't let them finish it. Okay, well, I can put the rest of it down then. I only have to use the two by on that part. That's okay. Making progress, folks. One little piece at a time. That's going to be a cool cover photo for the episode. I always call them cover photos. They're title cards. Whatever. But uh, that is interesting. And we are getting... Uh, Getting metal done here. I actually am dead even on uh, beaver workforce if you don't count the incapacitated ones. And I think our uh, infected beavers have either healed or died, which is, well, a positive. They're no longer infected regardless of what the actual, uh, actual deal is. So this should, should be, uh, should be going now. Okay, it is it is going just very, very slowly because it only has 5% power because this is coming from up here, which has no power storage because I removed the uh, flywheels that we were using to store power. So that then begets the question of... Wait, hold on. It says batteries are charged. What's up with... All right. I've got to put, I've got to put storage for power under these, at least for right now. Um, isn't currently doing anything. So, so, yeah, okay. Uh, we'll get this blasted down. Uh, I'll just go six down because why not? <laughs> we'll put those medium uh, framed guys down there. We're only going to have to do this, I think, once up here. But, uh, I don't know. Maybe we could find a better solution. I just like the idea of hiding these underneath stuff because it looks, uh, a little bit smarter. No real uh, other reason why. So that's looking good. Have they gotten here? They have. Very good. So you know the drill, and so do I. You know, outside of the meme value, Never Gonna Give You Up is actually a really good song. At least in my opinion. It's a appreciator of 80s music. So, fun music theory fact for you. Um, the chord progression in Never Gonna Give You Up. I don't know what the Roman numeral analysis is off the top of my head, and I really should have written this down before I talked to you about it, but uh, it uses a similar progression to what you might, uh, you might have heard before if you've ever studied this as uh, what they call the Royal Road progression in a Japanese pop music. You'll see, you hear it a lot in, uh, in like a video game music or J-pop or whatever. But it has the it has the exact same chord progression, and nobody ever nobody ever thinks about stuff like that. How music transcends cultures and stuff like you you're not going to get much further away from uh, from that kind of a uh, vibe than a Rick Astley song, at least in terms of I don't know the cultural impact behind it. But I just thought that was really cool how stuff comes together like that. Completely irrelevant information. Probably ninety nine percent of you will not care about. But if you are if you are informed about stuff like that, please do uh, please do weigh in in a comment, because I am always interested in talking about fun stuff like that. Plus, it helps me uh, feel like I justified the multiple years of music education I endured before I left that that sphere of the world. Anyway, uh, let's put our fluid dump and our uh, stream gauge in here. Uh, I can't hook these up until they're actually installed. I don't think. Nope, not going to let me. Are we still waiting on... Oh, we are. Okay, do I have my... Uh... No. So why is this... Uh, why is this taking so long? Maybe I should have... Oh, it's because there's no power up here. Duh. That is a fun problem for us to have. And that's why I should have done this a lot sooner. But I didn't. I guess that's uh, that's the price I pay for getting distracted and doing random things that don't really pertain to anything else. 
So they're going to take care of that. Oh, these are dried out. Okay, they're going to be fine, though. Have we made any progress on the other half of this? No. We have not. So why... Why is... The, oh, this hasn't been built because this can't be built because they don't have access to it yet. Um, so what was the... Uh, I guess I didn't have a... Uh, I didn't have anything on the other side for this, did I? All right, so here's what I'll do. Because uh, I was not aware that progress had stopped that severely on this. Let's just move these out into the corners uh, as much as we can. Give them a chance to do what they got to do, I guess, to get uh, the rest of the stuff built. Takes time. Very, uh, very hard to accomplish stuff if you're not uh, constantly, constantly checking in on that. But that wasn't our highest priority for today anyway. So I guess we don't need to worry about it. Mm, these guys need to have more than 7 HP. But they don't. And then I have this. But I guess I went to the wrong side again. And I went to the wrong side. There we go. Uh, it is also important to have uh, these guys over here able to do what they want to be doing. So pine trees. Uh, I am going to leave space in the corner. Uh, for when we put our trains in, I do know that this piece has to be accessible for the curve. Uh, unless something has changed. It, it very well could have. I don't know. I haven't played with the mod in a while. Uh, but let's just leave that space there. Uh, this many pine trees in this corner should be more than enough to take care of our needs as far as pine resin is concerned. So that should be okay. And I guess, depending on how much this irrigates... Maybe we just plant some more oak trees. I don't know. We might not have to. We might be able to just kind of leave space and put some uh, recreational stuff here. But I don't know. I would love your input on that in the comments because as I always say, this is a let's play. It is not a watch me play. Um, unless you are offering math advice, in which case I may still ignore you just because my brain cannot comprehend how that works. It is not a, uh, a personal attack. That is me recognizing the limits of my mind and not wanting to combust it. So uh, we'll put this forester here just so we can start planting trees. Looks like we're going to be uh, good to go getting that in place. And then I have all this space right here in the corner, uh, or the back side of this rather. I don't currently have anything to put here. So I guess we'll just leave that alone. Uh, a couple people did leave comments giving me ideas for uh, storage we could put on top of this if we felt so inclined to modify our setup with the use of the metal platforms or uh, the reinforced platforms. Uh, I don't think that's something we really need to mess with. I do appreciate the suggestions. I always do. I always read them, attempt to comprehend um, written diagrams versus visual ones. I'm not always able to understand that, but I do always appreciate the input. I just can't always use stuff just just so you're aware, I do appreciate it. I do look at it. I can't always make use of it, but it is still very much appreciated. Um, but the idea was they wanted me to stack uh, log storages up here, which is a fantastic space use idea. That's great. Uh, but uh, we, we have a huge map. I, I'm not really that concerned about space usage. Space usage, excuse me. Uh, right now, that is not something that I think should be a priority for us just because we have so much space struggling to find ways to fill it up in uh, some places. So I guess we'll uh, we'll figure out what we're going to do with that at some point. But uh, I'm more interested now on getting this thing actually up and running. I need this one explosive to get done. Now that we have actual power coming in here, hopefully, hopefully that becomes something we can do. I guess we can turn this off so we can go uh, take care of the rest of our stuff. But this is going to be a nice use of the corner. Still not entirely sure what it's going to mean to have uh, stuff growing over here in the rest of this area, but this is already already a big improvement to the corner. That should be a nice contrast, even if it's just visually, to have these pine trees like this. So I think that just about, just about covers most of my stuff from the list that I decided we we're going to try and tackle today. Um, obviously, outside of getting this fully switched over, we're not quite there yet. i got to get these pumps actually operating but man this is cool to, to have both of these right here i really hope this works it ends up actually being uh, serviceable it looks like we have enough to turn these back on but uh i haven't exploded all of this yet so i don't want to forget about it 
That's going to be uh, part of the challenge. So I suppose probably the smart thing to do, since these are two by two spaces, is to just, you know, uh, fill this with medium tanks and be done with it so they can just store water. If you have a better idea, please do let me know. But I think for right now, this is the most sensible thing we could do. Just set these up to supply, uh, make it nice and easy for our uh, our workers over here to do what they got to do. And we will move forward with all of that. Do I have an explosive here? I do. There we go. They can take care of that and that'll be done. Um, so I might as well go ahead and unpause these. Yep, that's going to be nice, which means we do have a very, very low amount of water, so I'm not going to get rid of these quite yet, but we can start moving the rest of this over and think about what else we want to plant here. Um, now that the uh, irrigation barriers are in place, it's really not going to matter uh, how close we get over here. This is just the way this was set up, so I'm, I'm tempted to just kind of leave this as it is. Uh, but this log storage can go away as soon as we have something to do with the logs. I guess for right now it doesn't really matter. Uh, but I'm tempted to use this since we have so much uh, processing going on over here. Maybe I don't want to have this be six deep. Maybe, maybe I don't. I don't know, if I just put three of these in, we take a look at our flywheels. That's still 45,000 HPH stored up. That's not a ton, but it is something. And it wouldn't take uh, wouldn't take as long to build up to build three of those versus six. Um, oh, I don't even have enough metal to make uh, six of these. So I'll tell you what, let's just do three. Just for the sake of having this actually finished in this episode. And then I will uh, I'll put this food factory back in place here. And then this will be set to eggplant rations like uh, this one already was. All right, so that's progress there, I suppose. And this is actually uh, actually filling up. Okay. So the good news about this setup is this is never going to be able to drain this dry during a wet season because the water will just come back out because it's right in front of this dam. So the primary purpose of this is to keep water in here for this to be pumping from and for this never to go dry uh, until the end of a drought. Hopefully, hopefully that makes sense the way I have this set up. Uh, if you are watching this video and you think this is incredibly stupid, please, please let me know uh, if I have a, a better option to do this. I just thought this would be a cool thing. It also looks interesting and it's nice and symmetrical. So that uh, that hits all the buttons in my brain, <laughs> at least I think. So hopefully that makes sense to you as well. Do we have the rest of these in place to uh, get? Detonated? Nope, we just have a single, uh, just have a single line. Oh, hold on. Oh, you know what I forgot? They can't access. They can't. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. They can't access this. They can't access it, because it's all the way, oh my god, man. All right. Oh, jeez, what a, mm. You know what that means, right? You know what that means. It means if we want to get down there, I really should have done this first. If we want to get down there, we got to go down on a whole bunch of ladders and just get it done. Oh my God, that's going to take forever and a day to build. <laughs> that's so stupid. I should have never done it that way. Oh, well, life goes on. We'll survive. At least this will be done soon-ish, hopefully, maybe. <laughs> oh, what a, uh, yeah. <laughs> what a, what a stupid thing for me to do. All right, so we're going to, uh, we're going to do the same thing over here uh, that we did over there. I figured instead of having uh, two, or instead of having one that was six deep, we'd have two that were three deep. And then we could uh, put that underneath these others if we so uh, so chose. But let's um, let's just prioritize this so we can have this done before the end of the episode. I know it's already an hour. 
It's already an hour, but we're gonna we're gonna make our uh, make our time here. So this is planting these pine trees. Um, I guess the range of this guy is pretty huge, but we just we we're not gonna need that much. We don't go through pine resin that severely because it just it isn't that useful. We don't really have any reason to use it, like at all, <laughs> outside of just having the. Uh, the treated planks that we need to have for the irrigation barriers and uh, a couple of these monument buildings. But, I mean, outside of that, there's not really that much use for it, which is a shame because now we're finally in a place where we can, you know, actually use those and we have no, no reason to make them. We already made tons of it. So I guess we're just going to leave this like this. That should be okay. And I was kind of hoping to start to get some of this uh, done as well, but we hadn't uh, hadn't quite gotten everything we needed to get done done yet. Uh, some of these areas are ready to uh, be expanded into, but I think I think we can just leave that be as it is and move on to other stuff later. I'm just interested in getting this um, fully working. I think it probably is. Um, now, if I can, oh, you know what? I probably should, should pause this when a drought starts. Uh, pause when a bad tide or a drought. And then, um, unpause when temperate starts. Just so we don't drain this completely dry, because we want these, uh, swimming pools to be, uh, viable. So that's just for refilling. I don't know. We can mess with it. If you think that's a bad choice, please let me know. If you think it's a good choice, you can also say that because uh, validation does help. <laughs> it makes it a little easier for me to uh, have the confidence I need to make dumb choices like that sometimes. But uh, I want to try and get as much power stored as I can. And I think, I think if we get this done within the next day or two, we should be able to fill it before the next drought, next bad tide, etc. But outside of that, uh, our water situation is still not good enough for me to want to get rid of these. We got to do a whole lot more pumping, got to get this stuff done. But uh, this is about as good of a setup as you could possibly have, in, unless you were having the, um, the haulers take care of that. But they have such a small, small distance to travel to fill these up. I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. I think we're going to be fine. Wait, hold on. We have homeless beavers now? Uh, I was going to try to avoid dealing with this, but I suppose I can just start, since we're already here, uh, just start on this side and be fine. So what we'll do, three, 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 I know that's nine, but we'll do that. And then I will build this in from the start. I promise I have a forward thinking mind. Uh, we'll build this in from the start here. Just in case we want to do that again, if not... No harm, no foul. That should be okay. So we'll put these four in. Check on our explosives. Just need the one. Hopefully they have that coming sooner rather than later. And then we'll be able to actually uh, get this done. I kind of want to just sit here and wait until we have the uh, final bit of explosives here. Is that explosives? No. No. But now it doesn't say it can't get explosive, so I guess that means it's on the way. Maybe. Maybe. Do we see a beaver with a box of dynamite in its hands? Pause. Whatever you want to call it. Aha. There it is. All right. Now finish the job. I'll put the rest of that thing in there so we can blast this away and get done with it. All right. There we go. Let's put in our flywheels here. Perfecto. Food factory go here. Set that to corn rations, and that should give us at least a little bit of uh, power storage for up here. And if these are turned off during a drought and bad tide, whatever, then that means it's not going to be sucking power. Although they wouldn't have to be off during a bad tide for power purposes, uh, but we do want to keep this irrigated so uh, bad water doesn't have influence over that. Okay, so we have 1,800 water. I'm not going to get rid of these yet. We really need to make sure this is full up before we do much of anything else. And, and our food is really taking a dive. Really, really taking a dive. I think that's because we didn't have a lot of uh, power over here to take care of our rations. We had a lot of those built up. 
so that's something we really need to make sure that we are uh, keeping on top of here. Fortunately, we do have the berries as a backup, and I think they might start eating into that pretty soon. But we do need to, I know this is like, <laughs> I would do the worst job with this, but I guess, I guess we just need to uh, build fermenters like this, just so we have uh, access to all this stuff here. Now I will put a power shaft here. These are set to do cassavas. These are set to do mushrooms. Uh, these up here, I think, are set to do soybeans. Um, where's all my soybeans? Did I really run out of soybeans? There's no way. There's no way I'm out of soybeans. I've got so many over here. Oh, Maybe that's what we need to plant more of is stinking soybeans. Well, I've got space over here. I guess that is what we will do. Do. No, I said this was gonna be this is gonna be blueberries. So, oh, uh, indecision is a very, very powerful limiting factor. Eh, you know what? We need it. We need it. I'm not gonna lose sleep over it. Let's do uh, at least this much worth of soybeans. I think we can justify that should increase our supply uh, quite substantially and allow the uh, the berries to get a little bit larger if I go out to here yeah that should be okay look at these uh look at these eggplants soon enough now, I'm just so surprised we ran out of soybeans so fast yikes that's a uh, fun problem to have but um, we have a lot of cassava and by a lot we I mean we have 180 something uh, not so many mushrooms so I guess we need to have uh, more of these guys. I could put another level on top of this, but that's going to use more water as well. I don't know, stuff to think about, but I do think, uh, I do think I will have, at the very least, uh, these set up right here for soybeans as well, because we won't have any mushrooms. All right, okay, now we have some mushrooms, but that's fine. I guess we can go ahead and... Uh, Put another stack on top of here. I'm not really that, uh, not really that happy with how this is looking here, but I guess I can't really complain that much. If you have a better idea, I would love to hear it. Algae goes here and here as well, and then um, I suppose, I suppose I could just put this on the edge here. There's no rule that says I can't do that. Not that we really pay that much attention to rules anyway. But we'll just uh we'll just leave that like so. I think that should be okay. Nice and easy. Yeah, it should be a pretty simple, simple deal. Then we can also have this uh come down here at some point, maybe. I don't know, they're gonna come up here anyway. Might as well just have them go uh all the way like that. Uh, without having to disrupt the uh, flow and any of that stuff. I don't know. I don't know. Not my favorite thing I've ever done. Could be stupid, but whatever. It is progress nonetheless. Uh, this is now waiting on metal blocks, which we have run out of. But I have power storage at least, so that's good. Uh, fermented stuff we are really, really lagging behind on. So we, yeah, we got to get our farm situation uh, improved with a quickness. These are... Wow, okay, these are actually pretty empty. We've got to figure that out next time as well. So, uh, this giant space over here could very easily uh, be turned into something else. So why don't we... Why don't we... I don't know if I want to put the uh, farmhouses all in the center. That's probably not smart to do that. But if I did maybe right here, here, and here... Maybe that would make sense. And then we can put another one. How, how far out is this? Did I do five? Yes, yeah, so right here with this uh, set right like so. Should should help. And then I can put another. Uh, or I just move these guys. I don't know. See, I just don't think about this stuff. I just don't think about it because I have my mind in a million different places at once. Maybe I, maybe I should think about it like that and just have stuff uh, nice and aligned up. But we very obviously 
need to be growing more of these uh, fermentable things. So uh, cassava, somebody, I remember specifically, someone said, you're not growing nearly enough cassava. And I was, I was going to respond and say, there's no way we were going to need to have that much, but I think this person was correct. So we're going to have this entire quadrant be cassava. I guess we can, we can just live with that. And then uh, eventually these uh, large industrial piles for logs will go away as soon as we use those logs. Uh, spoiler alert, we probably never will. So I'll just have to delete them anyway. But uh, at the very least, we can plant cassava and hopefully, hopefully uh, have enough going there. We will reorganize this too. Don't worry. This, I imagine, will probably become almost entirely soybeans uh, with this being uh, the blueberries, of course when we get to that point. So at the very least, we are preparing for the future. Uh, pay no attention to double digits of all this stuff, the 2400 berries. We have 3100 food. We're looking great. Kind of, if you don't, uh, don't peel back the curtain. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Interesting movie. Yeah, so we're not, uh, not quite there. Not quite there on getting the stuff done, but they could actually get down there, which is... Uh, which is very funny that that's a thing that happened to us. I guess they can uh, accept responsibility for that idiocy. But um, yeah, we've made progress. It hasn't always been perfect, uh, but we have we have actually made a measurable progress. And I think we could be pretty happy with that. Uh, this is looking good here. Um, I guess. I guess I just need to go ahead and put uh, put one of these right here. I guess I could do one more over to match the rest, just so they can build all of this, finish this, so we can have uh, the bridges. I think the bridges are what hold it back. If they can't get to the bridge and have enough room to go to the other side, that's uh, one of those things that becomes a little bit of a challenge. Uh, so I guess... Oh, yeah, that's going to be nice if I can go all the way down there. Just to give them a little bit of a chance, just a touch to be able to access the rest of that stuff. It's a very, uh, very long process to get all of this done. Not, uh, not always going to be easy, but we can do what we can. That's what we have to do. All we can ever expect ourselves to do is just do what we can. So this is going to come down all the way here. This obviously can't reach, but that's fine. We're working on it. We're getting it done. And hopefully, hopefully they can finish this next episode. I, I really have not been keeping that much uh, tabs on it. I think this is cool. This this looks so much better. So much better. Even if it is a little, little bit of cheese. Where, okay, there we go. That's the, that's the view I wanted. So we will hopefully, hopefully be able to have a lot more uh, food going on very soon now that this is kind of taken care of. Yes, I see this guy has nothing planted. Uh, we will fix that eventually, but like I said, this is a mega build. It's not all going to come together at the exact same time. Sometimes you're going to have to wait several, several episodes to get measurable progress in any specific thing just because this is such a huge map and there's so much going on that we're attempting to get done. Uh, this is going to be a long series. I know I said in the last episode there might be another 15 Depending on what we end up doing, this this actually could go on substantially longer than that. But it depends on what you guys want to see. If you get sick of it and you say, stop doing this, give us something else, then all right, fine, we might, we might wind it down and shift over to do something else. But I think this is fun. This, this is the most fun I'm currently having in Timberborn is this one. So I am not incentivized to get rid of it anytime soon. And we'll just have to see, uh, just have to see what comes after the fact. I guess now what we can do is we can get uh, the rest of this section put in place. Uh, just to make sure we are good to go. How did I have this set up? Yeah, that's going to have to go right there. Just to duplicate what we already had uh, going here. I believe that is uh, going to work with the pools. Yes, there we go. Then all of this has to be, uh, has to be double platformed, right? Like so. I guess that one doesn't have to be just like that. Ah, yes, because I did not have a, did not have this right here. I guess there's no reason not to. We just never did it that way, so it's fine, I suppose. 
Double showers, then we have our monuments. Bad tide approaching, huh? Alright, was this on the outside? Yes, it was. Okay. We're working on it, he says as he puts it in the wrong orientation. We're going to get it going, and then I think that bad tide's going to be the end of this episode. I know we're already, jeez, we're already at an hour 15. Well, nobody should ever tell you that I don't, uh, I don't make long enough videos, I guess is the, uh, the story that we get to take away from this. But, uh, I digress. Let's get the rest of this in place like we like to do. Uh, the right side of these gets the, uh, lantern. Oh, we can put a path over the path platform over those. That's good to know. I'm sure I already knew that and just forgot, which means I probably didn't know it in the first place. But I digress. That goes there. That goes there. I think that was a shrub. Was it a shrub? Yes, it was. Yes, it was. I like that the model has been fixed. It doesn't look quite so weird anymore. But I believe that is good to go. We just got to put our paths in the right spot and this guy will be uh, all taken care of. And we have 56 open beds, which means that's about three of these-ish, a little more. And then we got to take care of all that. So, two and a half days left before the bad tide. I don't know what caused those three beavers to become, uh, I guess, infected is probably still the correct term or the most correct term to use. So I kind of want to I kind of want to see exactly uh, exactly what's going to cause that to happen if it happens again I hope it does not but uh, my first thought was that uh, this overflowed but then I realized that probably doesn't make any sense because this is constantly flowing at the same rate anyway and it's completely enclosed so I I'm guessing what happened was this for some reason backed up because of the surge when he closed these floodgates because uh we had caught a couple of these uh sets of three that were not uh set at zero and slammed shut so since we uh since we had all that extra back pressure after we fixed that maybe that's what caused it i don't know we're gonna have to figure something out because i would like to avoid beavers getting infected if at all possible Probably not that simple of a problem to solve. See, this this also kind of um, concerns me that we're still only at 3,200 water, even after adding these and this really efficient setup here. So I know we have to uh, we have to get another corner going on this. I just have to uh, actually have that put into place. And I was going to try to avoid messing with that until I had to, but I think we're going to have to. Uh, gonna have to do it sooner rather than later not that we need that much more dirt i mean we have 800 dirt we're not going to need a lot of dirt for the future so i'm i might just kind of blow it up instead of having the uh the third excavator date out we can always just put another one of those down uh somewhat later but i think that's going to be i think that's going to be the the move is for us to just uh keep going around and around and around and put these things in and then Maybe just not worry about blasting it out to the very bottom of the map. I think that's a little, uh, a little completely unnecessary. Even if it is uh, kind of cool to just uh, say that you did it. So uh, I guess I can solicit comment input on this. Would you want me to blast this all the way down or just deep enough for the straws on the pumps uh, to connect to? Which, by the way, are six deep. I can't show because there's not more than two right now. Uh, but that, if we did not blast all the way down, just wanted to be deep enough for the straws, I would go down another five from this. So we would have seven, so there's a little bit of water left in the bottom, and these are only nine-gauge routes at the maximum, so that would be the uh, not long enough time for that to evaporate. I think that's probably the smarter thing to do rather than uh, the way we did it before, because that took several episodes worth of digging to get to, and we, we didn't even use all the dirt. We don't need all the dirt. So I, I think I'm kind of leaning toward that. Of course, always open input, so do let me know your thoughts on that down below. Uh, but that would allow us to get this operating much more quickly, regardless, regardless of what we end up doing with that. We can go ahead and put these side platforms in place. I just have to remember my... Uh, I think it was the outside. 
Not that it really matters. It, it really doesn't matter how these are set up, but I did like the idea of, uh, of having this set up in a way that made sense. Or was at least consistent. So we'll, uh, we'll just go ahead and put these in. Uh, the five by, uh, whatever, five by five space in the middle is still the same if we put a dirt excavator in. Uh, but this, uh, does get us one step closer and also uses some of our resources that we've been, uh, we've been kind of waiting to use. I guess I could just go ahead and, uh, get the whole rest of this set up while we wait for our bad tie to come in half a day and then evaluate the results thereof after the fact. So yeah, I guess we can go ahead and start getting you out of here. Like I've said before, I really do appreciate all the input, feedback, etc. Uh, when you point out the mistakes, it does help me. Hurts my pride a little bit, but that is okay. That's how we learn. That's how we grow as human beings. So I will always be receptive of that as long as it's uh, not mean-spirited, which you guys are normally very good about. Uh, big thanks to the Beer Boosters as well for their support. Like I always say, makes it possible for me to keep doing this and perhaps more importantly keeps all the garbage uh, peddling of nonsense nobody needs or wants out of my videos, which I really do appreciate. Uh, not needing to resort to those kind of streams of income. Very, very thankful for the folks that make that possible. Uh, so you can see their names on the screen if you want to be part of that. There's info in the description. Again, never obligated, never, ever obligated to do anything, not even to watch the videos. So uh, just the fact that you are here is very important to me and very appreciated. And I can't wait to see you again in the next video. But we are just about at the end of our uh, cycle here. And we're going to get our bad tide. I'm going to slow it down as soon as it transfers over so we can see exactly what's happening with our fluid dynamics here. Uh, here comes bad tide. All right, so let's pause. How are we looking on all of our water levels? It looks pretty high, pretty good as far as I can tell. Uh, these gates here are not going to shut until they sense some sort of infection. So... Uh, nobody has been contaminated yet. This water is the same flow, exact same strength. So the only issue I could possibly see is when these slam shut and it maybe force a little bit of a, uh, of a backwash or whatever. But again, this level is not that high. It's, it's the same height. So these are all shut, I believe. Yeah, looks like it. Um, I guess I should go down and look at uh, this again, make sure it's not overflowing, but it's not. So that leads me to believe maybe what's happening is for some reason, since all of the water is coming out of the center instead of uh, filtering through these, maybe, maybe they're standing on the bridge and the bridge got wet. I don't know. Could be, uh, could be something to keep an eye on as this comes out. Just not sure. Nobody's been contaminated. So I just I just don't know. We should see this start to turn red. Yeah, it looks like it has. But the water level is not going up. Uh, they're not getting contaminated walking on this path. That's not how the water works in this game. Yeah, I, I don't know what happened. That just does not make any sense. For that to have uh, caused us any issues. I don't see any beavers getting contaminated elsewhere, and this hasn't... Okay, that hasn't been built yet. That hasn't been built yet, so you know that's not a problem. But it, it does raise the interesting concern of all the water coming through here that maybe, maybe it just gets a little too high up here. But even so, these lower down to zero. So I don't... I really just don't think... It is going a little higher, but it's not staying high. I think it was just a fluke. I, I truthfully cannot tell you, cannot tell you what the issue was. I don't know. That's weird. So it's good to know we haven't uh, been able to duplicate that. Uh, not in the sense of that we won't understand it, but in the sense that we don't have to worry about it anymore. So I guess that's it. That's it for this episode. Again, like I like I said earlier, really appreciate you guys. And I'm thankful we get the opportunity to uh, share this fun time together. We got another episode of the Folk Tales Hard series coming tomorrow. And then Saturday, not quite sure. Um... It's going to be something else, not beavers. So uh, keep your eyes peeled for that. But that's all the time we got for this one. Thanks for bearing with me on a long episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Whatever it is you're doing, stay safe, have fun, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.